أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة الانفطار إذا السماء انفطرت وإذا الكواكب انتثرت وإذا البحار فجرت وإذا القبور بعثرت علمت نفس ما قدمت وأخرت يا أيها الإنسان ما غرك بربك الكريم الذي خلقك فسواك فعدلك في أي سورة ما شاء ركبك كلا بل تكذبون بالدين وإن عليكم لحافظين كراما كاتبين يعلمون ما تفعلون إن الأبرار لفي نعيم وإن الفجار لفي جحيم يسلونها يوم الدين وما هم عنها بغائبين وما أدراك ما يوم الدين ثم ما أدراك ما يوم الدين يوم لا تملك نفس لنفس شيئا والأمر يوم إذن لله These are the verses of Surah Al-Infitar. Infitar means the splitting ascender. This chapter is again mentioning the events of resurrection. The first three ayat, the first three verses, they are about the very first stage when the calamity will start on the last day of this world. Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Is a sama un fatarat? When the heaven splits asunder, wa is al kawaki bun tatharat? And when when the stars, the planets, uh, scatter, wa is al biharu fujirat? And when the oceans are torn apart, so the earthquake will start. As it was mentioned in uh, Surah Takwir, uh, the heaven will be torn apart, it will be removed, and the stars will scatter and fall and become dark. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the oceans will be torn apart. While in Surah Takwir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the oceans will be set ablaze, fire will be rising from the oceans. According to the commentary of the Holy Quran, when these two verses are put together in the light of the present scientific knowledge, we can very well understand that that terrible earthquake will cause the splitting of the bottom of the oceans and so water will enter into, into the depth of the earth. And we know from science that when water is made alkaline or acidic and uh, electricity is passed through it, then it decomposes into oxygen and hydrogen, two gases. Uh, as we know that the earth is a conductor of electricity and also when this water goes into its depth, there are many compounds uh, many things which will which may make it acidic or alkaline and so by the electricity in the earth uh, it will decompose into oxygen and hydrogen which will come out again and hydrogen will start burning in the presence of oxygen so the two processes will happen side by side the bottom of the uh, ocean uh, torn apart water going into, into the depth of water, then a hydro, hydrogen and oxygen coming out and hydrogen burning. So uh, the, the two uh, verses of these uh, two surahs, At-Takwir and Al-Infitar, are very well understandable. But remember that that day is a very, very hard day. The second stage starts from the fourth verse. وَإِذَا الْقُبُورُ بُعْسِرَةٌ and when the graves will be laid open, that means we, mankind, will be resurrected. Alimat nafsum ma qaddamat wa akharat. Then every person will know what he has done, uh, 
uh, whatever, whatever actions he has done, the former and the later. Now, the, the former actions and the later actions uh, have different types of explanations. For example, he did something first and then did something later. But uh, one important explanation is that we do something in our life and those deeds, they go before, before us. Every day the angels, the Karam and Katibin, they are changed two times. Remember that every person has two angels. One is on the right side and one is on the left side. They are known as Kiram and Katibin, the noble, the honorable writers. The, the angel on the right side is making a record of righteous deeds and the angel on the left side is making a record of bad deeds. And they are changed uh, uh, in the uh, afternoon time and in the morning time. Uh, the, the, the two angels uh, in the afternoon time, they take the record with them and they go and their place is taken by two others. And then these two remain with, with the person until tomorrow morning, the Fajr Salat, the, the prayer of the morning uh, time. And at that time, they, these two, two go and uh, uh, the, the, the other two come and take their place. And then they remain, remain with the person until the afternoon prayer. Uh, so the record is going before us. And on the day of judgment, there will be scrolls of this, this record for every and each and every person. Because uh, even a single word is not left. Every word and every action of us is uh, recorded. So these are the, we can call them the former actions. Because with the end of the life, the book of deeds closes. And these are the actions with, which went before us. But then there are people who do something good or bad in this world. They make a source of good or a source of bad. So when their, their life ends, their book of deed is closed. Uh, the, the, the good actions or the bad actions still go after them. And these can be given the name of the latter actions. For example, some person made a school. He is a, is a Muslim. He fears Allah. And for the pleasure of Allah, he made a school for some poor children. And then this person died. Uh, his book of deeds is closed. But the reward from the school is going after him continuously. Simil similarly, if a person uh, made an orphanage, the reward will be going after him. Somebody made a mosque, a, a masjid. And people make uh, uh, prayer in the masjid. They remember Allah. So the reward is continuously going after this, this uh, maker of the masjid, although he has gone, passed away from this world. Uh, another man may have made a cinema in which very bad evil movies are seen. So the person died, but the trouble is going continuously going after him. That is a very, very unfortunate uh, situation for the person. He will cry there. Would that he didn't make this cinema. And astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now addresses men directly. Ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem. O oh man, what has made you, what has deceived you concerning your very kind Lord? Allazi khalaqaka fa sawaka fa adalak. The one who created you and fashioned you and proportioned your parts. Fi ayy surati ma sha arakabak. He gathered, Allah gathered your parts, your body parts in a, in a form whatever he liked and gave you very beautiful form. Oh mankind, Allah has given you the most beautiful shape among all the creatures. And Allah has given you a very, very great wisdom. 
with the, with the sense of justice, with a moral sense, with a self-criticizing sense, the conscious. We have the sense to differentiate between good and bad. No matter a person is an, an unbeliever or a believer, but he knows that theft, theft is a very, very bad crime. Dishonesty is a bad thing, is a sinful deed. And helping others and to remain sincere for others is a good deed. This is, this is something which Allah has put in, in our nature. Allah has given us these senses. So, uh, when Allah, uh, the one who is so kind and who has made us so beautiful, uh, but Allah has given uh, us a sense of responsibility. So, Allah will not leave us alone, you know. We are accountable. Allah will surely ask us about the, 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 the responsibilities. We are given the freedom of choice. We are left here to choose whatever we want to do. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us, will question us. And for that, Allah has appointed the day of judgment in the hereafter. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kalla not so, bal tukazibuna biddin. That means you couldn't be deceived. But the, the actual reason is that, that you are doing all these bad things, you know, because you are denying the day of judgment. You are denying the hereafter. Every time a person that does a bad deed, a person harms another person, even if a person harms an, uh, an innocent animal, he feels it inside. Allah, Allah has given us such mind, such brain. But when he believes in the hereafter, he will think, oh, I am going to face my account. So he will become polite. His, his heart will become full of mercy and justice. But when he doesn't believe that he is accountable, he will go on doing all the cruel deeds. Not. The thing is that because you are doing all these evil deeds because you are denying the day of judgment. And surely on you there are watchers. Kiraman katibin. The honorable writers. They know what you do. The angels. The honorable angels are, are appointed on us. And they are watching us. And they know our intention. All oh men, whatever you do, these angels, they know your in, in, intention behind the act. And they make a record of everything that you do and of every word that you speak. Inna al-abrara lafi na'im. Surely the righteous will be in the blessings of paradise. Wa inna al-fujjara lafi jahim. And surely the, uh, the wrongdoers, they will be in hell. Yaslawnaha yawm ad-deen. They will reach there on the day of judgment, on the day of recompense. Wa ma hum anha bi ghaibin. And they will not be able to disappear from it. They will have no power to, to remain absent from it. That means there is no escape. Escape is not possible. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الدِّينَ And what do you know? What is their day of judgment? The day of recompense? What is it? ثُمَّ مَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الدِّينَ And what do you understand? What do you know? What is their day of recompense? يَوْمَ لَا تَمْلِكُ نَفْسٌ لِنَفْسٍ شَيْئًا يَوْمَ لَا تَمْلِكُ نَفْسٌ لِنَفْسٍ شَيْئًا That is the day when no person will have any ability, any power to do anything for other, for himself or for another person. وَالْأَمْرُ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ لِلَّهِ And on that day the command will be totally with Allah. In this world also the, the command is with Allah, but Allah has given us a freedom of choice, so Allah is not forcing us to do good, and is, is not forcing us to stop from evil deeds because Allah has promised to give us authority and to give us freedom of choice. But Allah wants us to, do, to, to choose the right path and on the day of judgment, uh, the judgment will be passed and on that day, 
the Allah will keep the command totally in Allah's hands. Swadakallahu uh, Lazim, brothers and sisters, please be sincere to yourself. This life is the only chance. This life is very precious for us. We, this life is given to us to prepare ourselves from the, for the hereafter. Don't miss this chance because regretting at the time of death and regretting in the hereafter will be of no use, will be of no benefit. We will not be able to get any other chance. And death is the only, death is only the gateway to pass through from this life to the hereafter. So be sincere to yourselves and protect yourselves from, from hell by, by taking the right path, the right course. And the right course is the Holy Quran in accordance with the final Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad kama sallayta ala ibrahima wa ala ali ibrahima innaka hamidun majid.